So it turns out that my audio works regardless of, you know, in terms of input. It works regardless of whether or not the output works, which is good because that means that I could just speak and not have to worry about actually you know, hearing the music, the sound effects. I can play the game in silence, which I don't mind. In fact, that's better for me, but anyway. Last recording I didn't use a tent, but this time I decided to use a tent and then equip Edge with a middle blade instead of a short sword. He had two short swords, now he only has one. So that's so that's pretty good. Hold up, I went the wrong way. Fuck the money. I know there isn't a chest around here. I mean, there isn't like a chest around here visibly, but last time I was here, there was no random battle. So actually, there you go. There's a random battle. Yeah, I want to get something. I'm not gonna consult the guide. There is a place where you can get a lot of, there's like a hidden chest or something where you can get a lot of cash, and I'm really curious and interested in that. But then again, since there isn't much to buy at this point in the game, I'm not going to sweat it. Ethers are nice, but let's just hope that they give us ether money. These guys hit you with fire-based spells, but besides that, uh, I hate to tell you this, Edge, but your parents, yeah, they suck, even while possessed and given superpowers. I'm hoping I can kill them before all the talking is over and done with because I think that'll be less time consuming. Oh, that's good. Thanks, narrator. I'm still going to try to get him clapped up and trapped up, but that's reassuring. I got that impression. I like hitting them. They're like glorified punching bags. 
we before we lose or what, man? Just get to the damn point. Hey, he had a critical. That's cool. Yeah, this is forever. You can spend this whole time blocking or using magic. It doesn't matter. You're going to experience the ride. Now, I'd like to actually believe that Rosa actually killed him, but whatever. Now, come on, let's get your mom's clapped up. Hey. hey, yo, Aaron, are you watching this? They were two A's away from sh shouting you out, man. See, the translator of this game loves your YouTube channel. Even though he's like two decades off. So this is my favorite boss fight of the game because the boss has an awesome name. But other than that... He killed me the first time. Throw that at him. Jump. You see, that move will pretty much kill. That move kills. Suffice to say that. Edges are key guy for his, no no Cecil's are key guy. Okay, where's life two? They're telling me we don't have that shit. That's fucking horrible. Wait, he didn't die from that? That's fucking cool. Alright, I, I want him to get unshrouded right now. You're not gonna do that? Okay, now. Because otherwise it will... I am totes annoyed right now.
See, that's what got me screwed into this fight to begin with. I kept struggling to get fucking Rydia to use that Shiva spell and one thing led to the other. In some ways, it's good that she's basically, like, fixated on one person. I mean, he's fixated on one person. That's fucking radio for some reason. Oh, I can't stand the AI in this game sometimes. Come on, Cecil, do your part. Yeah, let's let's go for this right now. A field cure. See, when I try to use the summons, I be fucking up because any ice based attack will do a lot of damage to him, provided he's not shrouded. But waiting for him to get unshrouded could. Oftentimes mean death. And I don't like that. That's why I don't like summoning it in Final Fantasy games. Or video games in general. Unless it's Knights of the Round from Final Fantasy 7. It's, it's not for me. It's not my style. F brute force, physical attacks, some calculated spells here and there. That's me. Everything else... That's a damn mistake. <laughs> Besides, I don't like that guy. Edge is a cool character. I mean, they try to present him as this immature guy, but he's a badass ninja that doesn't take shit too seriously, even when he's being angsty because what happened with his parents. That's justifiable. Okay, so now everyone but Edge is in their 30s. That's great. Was I supposed to do that? Okay, now I can hear some music. And I wish I wasn't hearing music right now. Alright. Queen Lamia, that's my stuff right now. I'm gonna have them use brute force as well. Huh. You can't move. Already got it.
All right, we're almost. Actually, I don't even know how far we are into this thing right now. Who should I have her call? Chocobo, Jin. I'd never used him before. Actually, I've never used any of these mofos besides the Chocobo thing. I'm not gonna use the drain items. Fuck that shit. You fucking called Ifrit Jin. Like, why? What possessed you to do that? What made you think that was a good idea? I mean, I would have sh changed Shiva's name, but... Jin? You call Ifrit Jin? Ifrit's badass. You don't, you don't just do shit like that. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna use a curative item as opposed to a curative spell. In terms of equipment, this game can be pretty linear. I don't like that. Again, another reason why I don't like fighting... Well, the only reason I hate fighting black cats. And actually, one of the reasons I like them, too, because... They can use physical death attacks on you. What else can I dart? Let me throw a... Sh no, I'm gonna save him. Okay. You heal your girlfriend up. I can't even... What the fuck is wrong? I'm going full retard in this fight. No, I'll, retards will probably be insulted by that, not because I'm using a drug to return on them, you know, casually, but because they probably wouldn't derp as much as I am right now. Like, how dare I? My backtracking.
I'm gonna run from every encounter just in case. Cause I know I was facing a different direction. Yeah, I backtracked. Well, that was pretty derpy of me. If I... Blitz is cool. Blitz seems like it'd be cool. Yes, and we got more Lamias. I like that. Come on, keep them coming. <laughs> uh, she did that to Kane, which is funny because I'm sure Kane would have switched sides either way. Cause you know, Kane a bitch nigga, that's it. That was funny, I don't care. That was fucking hilarious. I don't want a ruby ring. Okay, now we're back where we should have been progressing. Okay. Will monsters appear? Nope. We just get more curative items. And the next person to get the turn, you cast bluster on them. That is incredible. Fucking Rosa. I'm gonna use Jim. See, I'm gonna eat the whole ass. Hopefully this doesn't heal anyone. I now cast a spell of life to my boy Edge. Come on, you're gonna get that world title from John Cena. Kill him before he kills Edge. Alright. We out.
I think we've come to a point where getting an ether might be viable now via the shops as opposed to finding them in a treasure chest because I've been escaping a bunch of fights yet I'm still getting the money still getting good money we were damn near broken the beginning of this dungeon yeah but we're JRPG protagonists if there's a trap We'll continue to press forward diligently as if something isn't suspicious, as if shit ain't stinking around here. And thus, Edge dubs this vehicle the Falcon. Yeah, but we missed an opportunity to get some good cash at me thinks. Okay, so that's where it was. My bad, young blood. I mean, I'll get it later if I need the money at some point. It was in the same room where we fought King Eblin, King and Queen Eblin, and Rubicant. So, shit. Okay, what else? So let's see. So we gotta go somewhere in the southeast. Well, let me call it an episode, actually. This has been Mr. Wonka 7. Back again for another episode on this weird ass let's play and suck my dick.